Okay. So this is what I want to do. Um, and again, they've given you a point here. Um, some questions, they won't, they won't do that. They'll be like, find an approximation, okay? How do we go about finding that there's some root somewhere and then use Newton's method to get closer to it? Think about it. If, if, they didn't, if I didn't tell you that there's going to be a root near x equals 1, okay? How do you go about determining, okay, what's a good starting point? What would I go for? You have to think about it. After I run through this example, I'll tell you, but you see if you can come up with, there's at least two ways I can think of that you guys know, one, one, one quite recent and one a bit further back, that you guys know about graphs and their properties that will let you try and work out a guess. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. If I'm going to use Newton's method, um, I've got the function, but I also need its derivative, right? Because otherwise I won't be able to evaluate this. Okay. So let's let f equal this. So therefore, f dash is that. Okay, so that's good. Now my first guess is x equals 1, right? So therefore, I can go straight to saying, well, what will my next guess be? And here's my, here's my thing which you want to put a big, you know, colourful rectangle around it. I'm just going to recite this, okay? So it's going to be x1, which is 1, minus f of 1 on f dash 1. Okay. So you probably, to be honest, could get your calculator out to do this, but you know, it's not that hard of a function, so let's just do it together. 1 minus, there's f, so 1 plus 1 minus 1, 1, 3 times 1 plus 1. Is that right? So I've got 1 minus 1 over 4. All right. Yeah. Three quarters. Okay. So that's all right. That's good. Can we go further? Um, how do we do the next one? Exactly the same way we did this one, right? So x three. Oh, we got my second guess here. X three is x two minus f of x two on f of f dash of x two. Okay. So evaluate again. Let's see here. Three quarters minus hmm. three quarters cubed. What's that? Twenty-seven on. Okay, so you probably want to get your calculator out at this point. Um, but I'm stuck writing it. So what have I got? Sixty-four plus three quarters minus one on three times. Uh, why did I do this to myself? Nine on sixteen plus one. Okay, what do we actually get? One, sorry, say it again. 0. 0.663. Uh, 663. And on. More stuff after that? Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, okay. And you can see, you can keep going, right? Now, I'm curious. You do it a couple more times, right? At what point can we say, you know, I have, this is, this is 0. 0.75, right? At what point can I say with confidence, I have one decimal place of accuracy, or two, or three? You finish off the steps. Now, has anyone thought, if I didn't provide you with an initial guess, how might you go about it? How might you think, okay, x equals 1, that's a good place to start. Well, forget about all this approximation and that kind of thing, right? You guys can probably graph this without too much difficulty, at least approximately, right? But we would usually say, ah, oh, now don't worry about finding the root because who knows what the root will be? Because it's a cubic, okay? So think back to you know year ten version of you. How would how would they he she go about graphing this? What would you do? Or even year eleven version of you. Year eleven you knows where there are stationary points, right? Well, at least roughly, you're going to have what kind of shape you're going to get, okay? So if you know where stationary points are, let's just think of any kind of cubic, right? Suppose you have this kind of shape, yes? Now, you can find out where these points are, right? And because it's a cubic, that means that these points are going to, to solve these points, you're going to have a quadratic. You can solve quadratics, that's fine, okay? So once you know what this value is and this value is, you automatically know, okay, there must be roots in between them, right? Or at least, if it's a different kind of you know, cubic, if you've got something like this, right? 
You find one here, you find one there. Well, when you know what the nature of each one is, you're like, okay, am I gonna guess this way or am I gonna guess that way? Okay, so that in sort of informs your guess, right? For that, for what it's worth, you usually do get given a guess, but you don't need to be given one. You guys can work it out, okay? Go back to yesterday's question. Find the um, function I gave you for bisection method. And you've already gotten to one decimal place of accuracy, okay? Um, go a few more steps, get a bit more accuracy, and then compare Newton's method. Start at x equals 1, or x equals 2, right? But either one is fine. Let's see how quickly it gets there. Yes? Well, okay, so I didn't really, I, didn't, I would have given you some kind of accuracy. So I might, would have either said, use two applications of Newton's method, in a very similar way that they would say, use two applications of Simpson's rule, right? Or they'll say, get me to one decimal place, or two decimal places. Um, I think this is already two decimal places, but you can double check it by doing it again. Sorry? Oh no, what is it? Well, you, you couldn't, 686? Six, six. Did you just not input it correctly? Because I had answer and I forgot to Oh no! Amateur's error! Uh, anyway, okay, that's fine. I didn't do it on calculator, so there you go. Um, what's the next one, actually? I'm curious. How, how close have we gotten? What's x4? I assume you need more decimal places. Does anyone get it? 0.682. See, you're already, yeah, okay, so at this point, we're already two decimal places. One application, two applications, that's pretty good, right? It took us two applications just to get to one decimal point on the previous one, okay? Different questions will, um, depending on the kind of function you get, and which side your guess is on and all that kind of thing, that will determine how quickly it takes. Like there's no automatic, after two steps you will always be two decimal places, something like that, you just gotta test it out.